Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Uh, today's going to be a short video. Uh, it's going to be a product video, actually. Um, I've never really gotten into tiles uh, like you see online. In so many of the other groups, people doing these tiles that they pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot and burning, uh, spray painting them first and then burning images into them. So I figured I'm going to give it a try, and you're watching it live. <laughs> This is my first one, uh, and you're getting to take a look at it. There's all kinds of information out there about how to do these tiles. So what I'm doing today is disregarding all of that confusion and what settings and what speed and how to paint it and everything else. All I did was take a white tile, spray painted it black. Uh, I spray painted it across horizontally first and then vertically, two coats within 30 seconds, and let it dry. And I just brought in this image, and uh, no making fun of me, by the way, <laughs> in these images. This is an image from Thailand. Uh, my wife and I standing in front of a 2,000-year-old tree. Just a regular, it was from my Galaxy S20. And it shoots really large format photos. So I brought it down to 300. Let me just take a quick look to make sure I tell you right. Okay, 293 DPI is where I brought it down to. I thought I brought it down to 300. Uh, somehow that changed. I set the line interval at 0 0.08. And somehow it got to 0 0.087. <laughs> I've got the speed at 3000. I've got the power at 45 got the minimum power at 15 because I'm using grayscale. Uh, whenever I burn almost anything, grayscale and uh, Jarvis and newsprint come out about the best for me, grayscale being number one. And uh, number of passes, one, and that's it. And no processing to the image whatsoever. It's just a standard image. All I did was bring it in, light burn automatically processed it, and now I'm burning it. And there it is in, in the process right here on the right. So it's looking like it's an image. I do understand that you got to take it off and clean it and and wash it up and to get the real image. Let me pull this out. See if I can make it a little bit bigger. This distorts. But you can see, let me drag it over just a bit. So here's the original image and here's the one that's being burned. It actually looks like it's coming out. Um, you can see the detail here. Here's my wife's arm, and here's my wife's arm over here. And it looks like it's coming out okay. So I'm going to let this run for a few minutes, and then I'll grab a couple of... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it off the laser when it's finished. I'll grab uh, some soap and water and wash off the soot and the burn paint. And we'll see what it looks like. So this is just an experiment. I, I don't do tiles. I don't know what they're used for. Uh, but so many people in, in the user groups online are doing these tiles that I figured, well, you know what? I just have to do one. So um, this is it. <laughs> I'm going to let it run for a little bit. And then take it off, clean it up, and show you the pictures. All right, so here we go. Um, the burn is finished. Cleaned up the tile. And this is what it looks like.
I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I think that came out wonderful. So, uh, oh, by the way, while I'm thinking about it, it would really help me out a lot if, if y'all would make some comments and uh, like the videos. I, I know I'm getting a lot of views, but people aren't uh, liking and commenting, and that apparently gets me up in the ratings with YouTube. So uh, if you drop a comment down below, let me uh, know what you think of this video, my other videos, and, uh, you know, like and comment that would really help me out a lot uh, but anyway th there's the picture and it's just a basic I, I think it was 89 cent six by six white tile that I bought from Lowe's and I used a can of black spray paint so you can see right here and I put two coats one coat horizontally one coat vertically that's it let it dry 30 minutes later, I framed it up on the laser and ran the burn, and you saw it in live time. And this is what it comes out like. I mean, I, I guess these people are onto something. Maybe you display these in your house or something like that. But uh, I, I can see me printing a, a 3D printed stand for it. And in fact, I think I'm going to go design one right now and maybe uh, displaying this in the kitchen. We have a, a black and I guess you'd call it a gray, gray cabinets and black appliances. So with a black, black countertop. So uh, I guess it would look nice displayed in the kitchen. I think I'll do that. But uh, there you go. I mean, it worked and it looks nice. And I didn't follow anyone's advice online. And there's all kinds of advice for spending tons of time processing the image before sending it to the laser. And, you know, Lightburn does a pretty good job at processing the image, as you can see by this. There, there's really no reason to go out. And I've had people say you have to go get Corel and bring the image in Corel and go to image our website and all of these different processes the big gimpin plug-in and so on and so forth and you know what i just don't see it i think this came out wonderful and i might try it again with different colors so uh i might even get hooked on something like this who knows <laughs> but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video quick one today which is usually not me <laughs> and i thank you for watching as always